Hello and welcome to Channel 42 where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is another Factorio noob tube video where we go into the basics of Factorio. And um, this time we're going to be wrapping, well, moving on from basic belts to the uh, splitter, the one-to-one -one splitter. Uh, there isn't any other splitter. That would be a pretty interesting feature. I'm sure there's a mod for it. But at this point, um, we, we were talking about how a belt has two sides. You've got the left side and the right side. As a box like this is emptied by an inserter, the right side is always being fed by the inserter. It's predictable. We, we know exactly what to expect there, which means we can then deal with it. This is a basic setup uh, that you can produce a full belt, both sides of it, by making two boxes, both inserters placing on the far side of the belt. They always place on the far side of the belt, which then makes a full belt full of uh, both lanes full of the same product um, like this. Another way to do it is a fun little setup. Of course, there's a million ways to do it, and that's the awesome thing about the game. In here, you've got, say, one stack of inventory, um, coal in this case, and there are two inserters dropping them on either side and then being dumped onto this central belt. That, of course, then can go wherever you like. Now, Getting on from that to this little guy right here, this is the splitter. The splitter is a one-to-one -one, um, junction, if you will, or, or a Y, but it, it can either combine or separate. So um, we'll actually be going into the combination in a little bit, but the idea here is there's all sorts of things you can do when, when you, you've got a lane of material and you need it split. One-to-one, um, -one, as in one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. And you'll see that in the animation here. As we drop some here, it will um, it'll split it out. One goes up, one goes down, and you'll notice this guy ratcheting back and forth each time. Now, it's actually not just one up, one down. It's two because of the two lanes. One lane section up, one lane section down. And... Uh, and then you've got 50 that I dropped in here, producing half here, 25, and 25. It's important when you start teeing too many times, if I teed this again with a splitter down here, then I would be producing, uh, what, half of 25, 15 and a half, or 12 and a half, and 12 and a half in this lane and this lane. And then I split it again, well, guess what? I've just produced another... Uh, half of 12 and a half, six something in each of these, and I keep reducing the amount that goes out of it less and less and less. So you can get into some trouble there. It's important to understand that aspect of the splitter. It's dividing it by two, uh, one on each lane. Now, there's some more complex stuff to the splitter. When we click on it, you'll see there's some different options. Filter is the most important piece. That lets you decide what comes through and what doesn't on either lane. There's also an input priority or output priority. Output priority, if it can, it will send it out that side. So maybe I want this lane to always be full, and it only goes in this lane when I've got a full stock here. That's kind of uh, forcing it one way or the other. I'll demonstrate with two stacks of ore, so that's about 100 ore, and it will all slide through this right side because the, that's the output priority. Input priority is the same thing, but of course on the input, go figure. If we click input priority on the right, which of course means it's going to prioritize everything coming in here, you'll notice there's nothing coming in there, so it doesn't change anything. But if I finish this guy and say fill this up with some ore, clear this lane, and then fill this up with some more ore, you'll see that this stack is probably going to back up a little bit. And of course, it's all going to try and go over this way because my output priority is bottom. My, um, if I switch that over, we can of course switch everything to left, which means this might start backing up some while the right lane is, uh, is primarily emptied first. And that's of course um, just some manipulation you can do with that. Um, I'll get into the filter in the next video, and we will go from there.